One of the uh, recent events that has greatly uh, assisted the cause of reform in legal education was the publication of the Carnegie Report, uh, I believe in 2005, called Educating Lawyers, uh, with uh, William Sullivan as the uh, lead author. Now, what's interesting about the Carnegie Report is that it was written primarily by philosophers, educators, and psychologists rather than lawyers. So it's an outside rather than an inside look at law school. What I've been describing is sort of law school from the inside and what needs to change when law school is regarded as a way of training lawyers for the profession. But Carnegie took an outsider's perspective and came up with a whole set of recommendations that I think are complementary with what I've been uh, discussing, but go to some different uh, elements. One area of overlap is the need uh, for experiential education. And that was embodied in the Car Carnegie Report when it talked about the three kinds of apprenticeships that law students have to engage in in order to develop as professional lawyers. And of course, they were thinking of the same progressive education model that I've, uh, I've been describing. But Carnegie had some very interesting things to say in addition. For example, they focused on the way learning is assessed, and they pointed out that all the asse uh, learning assessment that we do from the LSAT through the bar uh, exam is what they called summative. That is to say, the student is supposed to look back over what they did before and be able to uh, repeat that. Some people would say regurgitate that on an exam. The alternative that has become increasingly popular among educators is formative evaluation. That is to say, evaluation that takes place as the student is learning and that essentially creates a feedback loop that tells the student how he or she is doing and uh, how to improve in the future. Now that's a mode of evaluation that at this point is rarely done in law school, sometimes in legal writing classes. It of course raises problems because our evaluation system is essentially competitive. We are, not to put too fine a point on it, performing a sort for our employers, primarily law firms, where we tell them who the best students are, who the next group of students are, and so on and so forth, through our grading system. And that's very useful, of course, for the employers, and we would be doing our students a disservice not to do that at some level, because the employers are demanding it, and we need to prepare our students to go out and get jobs after this very expensive legal education. The problem, though, is that that kind of evaluation is not what modern educators, as embodied in the Carnegie Report, recommend. They recommend formative evaluation, where the student is guided and evaluated each step along the way. And a problem for the future will be how to incorporate that more modern and uh, more effective mode of assessment into a system that right now treats assessment not as a learning experience, but as a competitive evaluation. Now, change is always difficult, and it's particularly difficult when something has been perpetuating itself for 130 years and where there are no external forces really demanding very strongly that it change. Medicine, of course, has the external factor of science. The science changes and medical education has had to change in response to it. Medical education has also changed in response to certain demands coming from outside it. One of them, interestingly, uh, was the Carnegie, uh, the first Carnegie report, or the first series of Carnegie reports on professional education, and the Flexner report, which I believe was as early as 1910, had a transformative effect on medical education. Carnegie followed with another report, the Reed Report, I believe 1921, which had no effect on legal education. And indeed, subsequent changes of various kinds have had no effect on legal education. Legal education has been able to incorporate enough of the changes, in part because it was always recognized that the, uh, that the court decisions would change and there would be an ongoing flow of them, without changing its basic structure. And for some reason, the practice the people who are employing our students 
have been content with the legal education, even though they recognize its defects. Their one effort to change it was embodied in an American Bar Association study called the McCrate Report. The McCrate Report was greeted with almost universal hostility uh, within the academy. One reason is that uh, legal academics saw it as anti-intellectual. They saw that as firms saying, we want you to provide the kind of lawyers that will enable us to make more money off them in the first couple of years. And that was not a message that sat very well uh, with an increasingly academic group of law school faculty. Uh, the Carnegie Report has had a different reception and a much more positive one. And I think the reason is that its recommendations don't emerge from the self-interest of a group of employers or from outside pressure, but from a group of scholars who come to study legal education from a different perspective and have a intellectually reputable theory on which to base their recommendations, so that when the Carnegie Report says apprenticeship, they don't mean, oh, let's uh, train lawyers to do what they are going to be doing in the first year of their practice. They mean apprenticeship based on learning theory about how to get students ready to be members of a profession, how to get them to be ready intellectually, how to get them to be ready interpersonally, and how to get them to be ready ethically. Those, the, those being their three apprenticeships. And this has, I think, had a very beneficial and salutary effect on the academy. People all over legal um, education are reading the Carnegie Report, they're meeting about it, they're taking it seriously, and we found that our own efforts were greatly buttressed by having a complementary but different look at legal education coming from a group of outsiders who could stand back and say, gee, this is an odd folk way, this is an odd practice, what's good about it, and what's antediluvian about it? And that, I think, is the great service that the Carnegie uh, Foundation has uh, performed for legal education.